Okay, my Game Attack Omega, this right here is for you and anybody who is also learning how to factor a difference of two squares. I will show you these two as examples and then make sure you do the rest so you can see how this really works. So, first, we have to remember, when we factor a difference of two squares, this right here can be factored as a minus b times a plus b. And our goal is to just first identify what the a and b are and then just apply the formula. So let's take a look at this question f. We have 9x squared minus parentheses 3 minus x and then squared. Well, the key right here is that this is not a a squared yet. Check this out. We will have to rewrite this first. Because for the 9, we have to somehow put in the parentheses and then square that like this. And then for the other one, it's nicely enough because it's done for us already. For this, you have to ask yourself, what square is equal to 9? And the answer is 3. I know you can say, hmm, how about negative 3? Don't just, just use positive 3. Yeah. If you use negative, you can like factor out negative. That's weird. Just use positive. That's usually the way to go. Next, we want to end up with x squared. Just put on x because x squared. Yeah? And then this right here, it's already in the something squared form already. So this is 3 minus x, like that. Now we are looking at a squared minus b squared. So we can just use the formula. Have a look. The formula says, go ahead and put on the first, which is 3x, and then minus the second, which is this, 3 minus x. But be careful, because this right here has two terms. The first term is 3, the second term is x. Make sure you put down a parentheses, because you will have to distribute this negative right here. All right, next, we will have a plus b, which is this, 3x, and then plus b. Again, let's put down parentheses, 3 minus x. Even though this parentheses doesn't matter, when you distribute a positive, it's still that, right? But that's the idea. And now, can we simplify this? Yes. Go ahead and just work this out. We have 3x, distribute the negative. We have negative 3, and then plus x. For the second one, we have 3x, positive times that is just that, so it doesn't matter, so it's plus 3 minus x. For the first parentheses, we see that 3x plus x, that's 4x, so 4x minus 3 for the first factor, and now for the second factor, 3x minus x, which is just 2x, and then plus 3. Yay! So that's a factoring for the first one. So you always have to think about how to put this into a parentheses square minus another parentheses square form. Yeah. Now for the second one right here, h. It's already done for us, so we can just use this formula. But let me just like write this down right here. This is the a, that's the b. Check this out. a is 3x minus 1 minus the second, which is, again, parentheses because we have two terms, x plus 1, and then continue that, 3x minus 1, and then plus x plus 1. And some of you guys might be wondering, do we need the first parentheses right here? Well, technically yes, but also no. Because if you have a parentheses, since there's nothing in front, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'll still put it down here. It doesn't matter, right, it doesn't matter. But anyway though, the first parentheses really doesn't matter. You have 3x minus one. Distribute, we get negative x, and then minus one, yeah? And then for the second one, this parentheses doesn't matter. 3x minus one. Distribute this, doesn't matter. Just plus x plus one. All right, now let's see what we have next. 3x minus x, that's 2x. Minus 1 minus another 1, that's minus 2. Right? So that's the first part. Then continue, you see that here we have 3x plus x, that's 4x. And minus x, sorry, minus 1 plus 1 is just 0. So it looks like this is what we have. It's a little bit strange, right? However, here we are technically not done yet. 
because if you look at the first part, 2x minus 2, both of them have a factor of 2. So we can factor out the 2 and then originally you had the 2x, the 2 is out now, so it's just x. This is the minus 2, we factor the other 2, just think about negative 2 divided by 2, so you get negative 1. Right? So this part is 2 times x minus 1. And then we still have this 4x. Are we done? Not quite. Because we can multiply the 2 and the 4 together. So we write it down as 8. And usually we put down x first before like a parentheses of the x minus 1. So the final result is this 8x times the parentheses x minus 1 for that. So hopefully this really helps and make sure you do try the other questions. That's it.